Alright, so guys, this is my application review of Ibis Paint X. So, this is what the interface looks like when you just la launch the software. Go into My Gallery, and then you can see all the images you've created. Now, if it's your first time downloading the software, you won't see anything, obviously. Um, how you create a new layer, a new canvas, sorry, a new canvas to work on is by tapping this plus icon at the top. Then you'll see um, a variety of options for different canvas sizes. For this video, I'm going to be using these custom dimensions I punched in right here, which gives me a 1920 by 1080 um, canvas size, which is what I use for my videos that I'm going to upload to YouTube. And also, for Instagram, I go up here and adjust my height and my width to 1080 by 1350 and that's basically to me the best um, size for Instagram like I said there are a variety of options you can choose from so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one that I've created now this is what the interface looks like whenever you launch a new canvas and you start drawing so immediately once you launch a canvas you can start drawing now so you're currently using what's referred to as the brush tool in Ibis Paint X. The brush tool has a lot of, um, it's basically your main drawing tool. So how do you change the look of it? Because right now, as you can see here, this brush has a very um, rugged edge. So what if I want a brush that's smoother? I could just tap this icon right here. It's the second icon on the 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 base panel of your screen and I'll get a variety of options of brushes now your your setup might not look like this once you launch it you might see a lot of orange icons beside the brushes that simply mean you cannot use those brushes unless you watch a video because this is a completely free um, application so obviously there's gonna be a few ads in it like this one at the top because you know you didn't pay for it so that's the price you have to pay so once you watch your ads, you'll be able to use all the brushes for free for 18 hours. So basically, this is a completely free software because 18 hours is technically an entire day. So now, I got a smoother brush. And if you look at the edge compared to the first one, it's now smooth. Now what if I want to change the color of my brush? I would tap this icon right here, the square, which usually has the current color that you're using um, Display so if I switch it to red, I'm now using a red brush and the color also changed to red down here now Within this square you can adjust the saturation and Also the brightness of a specific color to change the hue you go to the circle and rotate it around You can also do all these things by moving these slides here and also change the opacity of the brush the opacity basically is how transparent or opaque the brush is, so how solid or see-through the brush is being um, represented. So I'm going to put this at maximum and I'm going to select a color like a red. Now as you notice, this changes to red right here and I'm going to create something in red. Let's just say a circle, right? Now if I want to erase this circle, I could hit this icon right here which would automatically switch me to my eraser tool and I just rub it until it erases. Um, for your eraser you can do the same just as how you do with your brushes where you can change the type of brush you can change the type of eraser you're using. Also if I want to get my shape back because I just erased something that I love I just messed my work up what I can do is I, I can just hit this button right here which is undo so the button that's pointing to the left is undo and the one that curves and point to the right is redo. Now if you want to change your layer, you could go ahead and tap this, the layer icon which is right here and then it will bring up the layers menu. Now to add a new layer, press the plus icon over here to the left and it automatically creates a new layer. So once you start drawing anything, let me switch the color of my brush to blue. And once you draw anything, it's actually on a separate layer. So if I went to the eraser tool and I tried to erase everything, it would only erase the blue because I'm currently on the blue layer. If I want to adjust anything about the red, I would have to go back to that layer. Now, 
um, what you can do with a layer is you can transform it so that's basically you distorting, resizing and scaling the layer as you can see I can also change the perspective of the layer and I can use the mesh transform to bend and distort the layer now I'm gonna move this right here now the reason why I did that was I want to illustrate to you guys something about layers whatever order they are appearing in the layers menu is the way they're going to appear on the canvas so as you can see the blue is above the red right here if I was to switch that around the red now goes above the blue allow me to like redo that so you can see the switch right you can also make both layers merge together by tapping this icon right here the arrow pointing down and you could flip the layers around by using these two icons above that so flip horizontal flip vertical now I'm gonna merge them down merging you have to be on the top layer to merge it I cannot merge this layer because there is nothing below it so I'll go to the top layer and I'll merge it down and now the layers are now one so if I try to move the blue it's gonna move the red with it because it's now a single layer all right so let's try some more um, tools in Ibis Paint X let's try the smudge tool so over here is your tool menu you have all the tools in the software what the smudge tool does is basically smudges together colors so if I go in here you can see it starts to smudge the red and the blue together subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video so that's the purpose of using the smudge tool in Ivy's Paint X and you also have the blur tool below that which basically just blurs anything that you apply to so the smudge tool and the blur tool they're completely different tools they're not the same they don't serve the same um, function in Ibis Paint X um, we also have the bucket tool below that which basically allows you to fill the canvas with any color you have selected so I'm gonna switch to green once you tap on the canvas it applies this color if you tap on a shape it also applies the color to that specific shape alright what else you can use the bucket tool to do you could use it to basically do the opposite of filling something and that's erasing something so by tapping right here where you see the eraser icon you're now going to be able to erase something using the bucket tool which is really cool so if I tap this green canvas now it will erase the green that has been applied firstly it erased the blue because it still recognizes that there was a shape there and now it seems to not be erasing the red okay there it is so it erased the green then it erased the red okay the reason why I was not erasing the red is because the red was on a separate layer so when I hit undo just now I somehow got back to the point where the layers were different now let's go back to my current layer and use the bucket tool to do some more stuff now I'm gonna use a smaller brush size so this is how you change the size of your brush by moving this slider right here and you can change the opacity by moving this one right here just to get that out of the way also if you want more screen real estate while you're drawing just tap this arrow that's pointing down in the center on the, um, the lower panel and it will give you more real estate to draw so now I'm gonna create some circles and I'm gonna try using the bucket tool to fill these circles now watch what happens so if you want to get back all your um, your tool your panels just tap the same icon which should now be pointing up go to the bucket tool and fill oh it's still on the eraser so you have to switch back to bucket and then fill it fills the entire canvas now the reason for that is because there's a gap in the shape so if you want to get rid of that you would have to flip this switch on right here that says gap recognition and once you tap inside the shape it now recognizes that there's a gap and fill it so it doesn't go outside it's accurate to some extent but a faster way to do it is let me switch this off 
just simply going back to your brush tool and then um, closing the gap and now you can fill in shapes with the bucket tool another important tool in IDS Paint X is the text tool which allows you to have add text overlays to your um, work piece so I'm gonna go ahead and write my name and I could um, adjust the properties of the text right here so I can change the color in style the size of the text and I can also change the spacing between the letters and the font as you saw just now I'm gonna switch it to what I usually use on Instagram which is this um, Chinese looking font so this is what I usually use yeah and you can adjust all the properties of the text as I said just now so hit the tick icon to get rid of it to um, get rid of the panels but when, whenever you're on a text layer, you cannot do anything with the other tools. So if I were to go back to my brush, you would keep on getting this pop-up. That means you have to switch back to a different layer to use the tool. All right, so the eyedropper tool allows you, this tool right here allows you to select any color in Ibis Paint X by tapping on the color. So if you keep your hand on the screen and hover over the screen, it basically moves and you see this indicator right here showing you which color you currently have selected so once you release your brush now becomes that color a faster way to get to this tool would be simply to tap the screen and hold for around a second and then the eyedropper tool automatically appears so you don't have to go to the panel and actually select the eyedropper tool all right so what um, what else can we cover in this video because I'm gonna do a second part to this video I'm going to go in more in depth so I think that's basically it for I this thing guys um, what else um, we can do the lasso tool let's try this one for this video this allows you to select a specific area and move and manipulate or adjust that area alone so if I were to do this then I hit the transform icon right here which are, which is usually indicated by four arrow, arrows pointing um, I could move just this portion of this layer which is really cool also once you have th this um, icon here which is called a marching ant as you can see it's moving anything I do to my layer will only be applied within the shape so if I did this it's only applied within the shape I've created all right so ways to get rid of this you guys could go up here to this icon and tap the first option or you could also go back to the lasso tool so head back to the lasso tool and select this option over here so everything I just went over with you guys were the basics in IBIS Paint X I'm going to be making this video a series as I said earlier so I'm going to be doing a second part and potentially a third or fourth in the series to explain to you guys how to fully use IBIS Paint X so if you found this video insightful guys remember to subscribe and leave a comment. I'll see you in the next one.